So I've moved over to this stone row here. I'm going to have a walk down it. Another look. So it's another typical Dartmoor stone row in that it's uh, these small flat stones. Just marking the way. Uh, this is a single row, as in it's got one row of stones. Sometimes you'll find them with two, it's not parallel with each other, sort of really close. As you can see, there's the large standing stone there. A large cairn. We're going to have a look at that in a minute. But we're coming down here. And you see the stones are covered up in there. You see how stones get missed, and there could be even more stone rows out there. They just covered up, and you just wouldn't ever find them. But. Um, Yeah, so I'm just checking the, the um, orientation of these. They're sort of running southwest, northeast. This one is 200, 225 degrees, something like that. Here's the end stone here. I'll show you looking back up. See it standing right up there. So, but this seems to finish parallel with that. Is that a coincidence or, or whatever? Let's go and have a wander over and have a look. Oh, I'll bring you back in a minute. So, here's the other stone road coming up here, and again, terminating with a cairn. And I do believe this is an undisturbed cyst with its capstone still in place. Excellent. These are rare. <laughs> These are rare indeed. Get the shovel out of the way. There you go. So, yeah, you can see uh, again, there doesn't seem to be any stone, stone rows, any stones between this cairn standing stone there. Um, got the massive cairn there. And there's the other stone row there, the standing stone. So there's that one running down there. But first we're gonna have a look at the uh let's go and have a look at the cairn. So, when I came through here last time I was just like oh yeah that's pretty but really having a chance to look at this might be another cairn cyst. Yes, it is. Another cyst here. There's definitely another, but this one's been disturbed. This stone has been moved out of place. It looks like it's been lifted. So, let's have a look here. So, it looks like they've got little burial cones around the outside. So, there's one here. It's going to look up. Someone's put, someone's, uh, someone called Fred has obviously been here. So, there you go. But you can actually see, which is away, the sort of construction of it. Look, see, this is solid stone. Unbelievable. So, there's the big stone there. Absolutely impressive. See, you can see it's just full of, this is just a pile of stones piled up. Wow. 
Definitely impressive. So you, look, you can see here more of the construction of it. So, I wonder if it was supposed to be turf covered or would it have been um, like this, like the stone showing, sort of more prominent? Because they definitely stick it. So if you look up there, I don't know if you can see it from here, but the other cone's got an exposed face and you can definitely sticks out. And here we are on the third stone row. As you can see, the it is terminated by another cairn. Um, it's not in line with the other one. Um, I don't know if that's ground shift or if it was intentional. I don't know. So, uh, yes, and there's the cairn. Yeah, so... Let's have a wander down here. See, this one has the parallel stones. So, as you can see, the stones are either side of each other here. I'll do a big one a bit of a wind today. But hey so, as you can see, it's like a double row here. Way. You can see the stone row. So, what if that section was deliberate? Does that mean, you know, was that of any significance then? I don't know. The thing about a lot of this, we actually have no idea why they did this. You can surmise, you know, were the cairns put there originally? Were they part of the original found, like, were they built the original? Was it build the stone row and then put a cairn at the end? or? Did they put a cairn at the end of it after they built the stone row? Was it later? You know, because these are like 3000 BC, 2000, 2000 BC, 3000 BC, something like that. So you could look at, it could be 500 years, a thousand years between the placing of the stones and the placing of the cairns. No, so here's another biggie. He's a big flat one. You can see there. Not as tall as the uh, the other one up there, but still, it's got to be 12 foot. Easily got to be 12 foot. It's easily double my height. I tell you that now. I don't know why I'm showing you that close. <laughs> there you go. Yes, just a complex. Very impressive. I was, like I said, when I first came here with the uh, Facebook group, we were just sort of passing through. I didn't really get enough time to have a good pike at it. But God, it is impressive. Especially that big one up there. That is an impressive stone. It's a very windy stone. You can hear me. I've got the external mic on. Hopefully it's working well. If not, all this is completely pointless. <laughs> Oh, I'll just put some music over it if it comes to it. But hey, hey. Yes. There's Hentor up there. I believe that's Hentor. And, uh, I'll leave that over there. I just noticed this bank. At the bottom of the stone, you can see it come through here. Off down that way. I wonder if that's part of it. I've seen something similar to this before on top of Marden near Morton Hampstead, uh, near the, their stone circle. It's got a bank like this as well. 
So, is that contemporary? Oh, absolutely beautiful. I keep saying that, I'm sorry, but it is actually, I'm really impressed. I'm actually quite blown away, really. Drizzlecombe Stone Complex. If you get a chance to get out here, definitely come out here. Just a couple of hours out here because it's impressive. It really is. It's some of the biggest stone, standing stones on the moors I've seen so far. I think the only ones that are taller, I would uh, hazard a guess, would be um, Bear Down Man, I think, which actually is the tallest. So, um, yeah. Get a chance to get out there, get yourself out here. Well, I'm off in that direction now. I'm going to head over towards Yellowmead. Um, yeah, so I'm going to head towards Yellowmead, go and film the uh, triple stone circle there. I'm going to go grab that lunch as well. And uh, where am I going to go after that? Oh, yeah, head up to that stone row. So, um, yeah, I'll be back when I've got something to show you.